Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life Apothecary. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's talk about the number 222. What does it mean? Why does it keep showing up? And what do you need to do when you're seeing the number 222 showing up in your life again and again? The timing of this video is really interesting because I've been seeing this a lot in my recent life. And what I always like to do when I'm seeing any type of repeating number, any type of angel number, is to write it down. Write down what, my, what I was thinking, write down what was going on, write down what it was that I um, am trying to manifest, and any signs and signals in addition to that number that I can think of at the time of me seeing that number when it first appeared. Now, before I dive into what this number had, what this number means, I really want to tell you guys that this is what this number means for me. This is my own experiences as far as what has happened and what has occurred in my life when I kept seeing the number 222 or 22 and or a variation of the, the number 22 in some type of way. Okay, the reason why I say this is because you guys already know, for those of you guys that have subscribed to my YouTube channel and have been a part of the Bahati Vibe Tribe for quite some time, you know that I do not like to steer anybody away from their own internal truth. And I don't want to speak for <clears throat> your personal, <clears throat> I don't want to speak for, <clears throat> pardon me, I don't want to speak for your angels or your guides or on behalf of God for things that I think that you should definitely reach out to them and ask them, what does it mean for me personally when this shows up? So it's really important, I do wanna put out this disclaimer that it's very important that you guys understand that this is something that is has made itself known to me, this is my truth, and this is what I've noticed again and again when this number appears for me. Okay, now that I said this disclaimer, now that I said that, that disclaimer, it's time for me to talk about exactly what the number 222 means and what has been going on in my life when I see it. So the number 22, well the number, let me start by saying this, the number two is a number of duality. It's a, a number of partnership. It's two separate things, two totally opposing things, somehow, some way, being magnetized and coming together. We talk about this and we see this a lot in the tarot cards, and I talk about this a lot in the Sacred Circle Tarot School, the number and the power of the number 22. It's these opposing forces. The number two, when you look at it within the major arcana, it connects to the high priestess. And she works with these opposing forces. She's working with the black and the white, the shadow and the light. So in your own life, when the number two appears or 222 appears or 2222, when it appears, it's because you are actually coming together with something that is your opposite or something that you are trying to attract within your life. Now, the number before 22 or 222 or 2222, and me saying this again and again is going to be so exhausting by the, by the end of this video, but it is what it is. But when you, the number before that is the number one. So that's when we start seeing 1111 or, you know, 1111, 1111, you know, just like 111, right? And pretty much what happens at that point is you are literally creating something. Within that thought, within your life, you have plant, you are planting a seed. Well, now that you're seeing the number 222, that seed, that intention is now attracting. It is now calling out. It is now pulling out. So when you are seeing the number 222 or some type of variation of the, that number, Basically what the, the, your angels are telling you and what your guides are telling you, what they're suggesting, or at least this is what they do for me, is look, what you have put out is now, it's, it's coming in. It may not have manifested yet. It, you may not have seen it yet, but it is coming in. At that point, what you need to do when you see this number is you need to check yourself. You need to check your energy. You need to check your thoughts. You need to check your thinking, just as you did with the intention with when you see the number 11. And if you guys don't know what that means, then I want to invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel because I'm going to be putting another video up if it isn't already up already by the time of you watching this. Um, but yeah, so... It's you, what you really want to watch what your intention is, what you're thinking, and the energy that, is, that you're putting out there. You want to make sure that you are staying in a positive space in mentally. That's the other thing, too, is that when you're seeing the number 222, you're working with duality. You're working with polar opposites. So it's really important that you master 
the idea of positive energy and negative energy. And that's something that in the spiritual community, a lot of people have a hard time with because they wonder, okay, I have to have positive thinking, so Jess, why are you telling me to have negative thinking? When I'm working and I'm talking about positive and negative thinking, I'm not saying negative thoughts or thoughts that are bad or destructive. I'm saying to be in a, a position of receiving. Okay, now with that, I have to take a step back and remind you, or at least tell you, that the number two is very feminine. It's all about receiving, which is actually a negative energy in the eyes of the universe, in the eyes of the cosmos. Feminine energy receives, negative energy receives, masculine gives, masculine does, masculine um, comes in and dominates, it, it wants to do. When you are working with the number two, um, two so two, 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 or two, 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 it's all about being in a space of quiet, receiving, and observing. That way you can actually attract. So in that moment, whatever it is that you set the intention for, the, whatever it is that you're putting out into the universe that it is that you wanna receive, give it positive affirmations. I am this, I am abundant, I am blessed, I am receiving this right now, whatever that is, or I am being guided, I am aligned, whatever it is. So some of you guys, you aren't actually um, co-creating or you're not act actively manifesting something, but you'll still see the number 222 because the universe, your angels, your guides at that time is aligning you to, to something that it feels you need in order to help you along your journey. Even though it may be the polar opposite of who you are, it's exactly what you need in order to help you to move forward along the rest of the way, in order to help you along your path, okay? So that's the power of positive thinking, but I also want you guys to work with negative thinking. Okay, well, that's actually the power of negative thinking in the sense of you are being open to receiving, you're not doing as much. That's a really hard thing for some people to kind of grasp is um, the, the ability to receive everything that is that you've been wanting and things that you may not even know that you've been actively calling in by simply doing nothing but watching, observing, laying back and and allowing the universe to do exactly what it is that it's going to do. If, if this number, 222, was more masculine, then you can do, then you can um, call out. But when you see the number 222, because it's negative, it's a negative energy, meaning that it's all about receiving, it's all about falling back and observing a little bit more, then that's exactly what it is that you need to, um, that energy that you need to match, okay? So that's one thing that I wanted to say with this is, and also balance. So this is the, the part where positive thinking comes through, is that if you are in a negative mindset, meaning like, and I'm gonna use the, the term negative in the way that it feels destructive, it's bringing your energy down, you, you want to call in something that is opposite, but is also the same strength as you. Now, I know that this is kind of a lot and I'm, I'm not taking notes, I'm flowing from my intuition right now and I'm flowing, you know, with <clears throat> like organically. So it's, I'm trying to like check myself and how I say everything. But there is a point where you wanna stay positive, right? You wanna keep your, your thoughts in, in a high vibration, but you're also attracting the polar opposite of what you are. Meaning that it is, let's say if you're feminine energy, you might be attracting in that, in that moment when you see 222, masculine energy. But the strength of those things need to be the same in order for them to attract, in order for them to magnetize. So for example, let's say you're feminine energy or you're in a position, whether you're male or female or however you identify, you're in a feminine space of I'm, I'm receiving help, I'm receiving abundance, I'm you know pulling in, into my life and I'm not going to lift a finger, this is just gonna be something that I receive right now. I don't have to actively pull in, I don't have to drag it into my life, it's just approaching, it's just appearing. So you are, that's what it is that you're pulling, putting out into the universe. So masculine, 222, the opposite of that, masculine energy comes in and says, okay, someone needs me. So I'm gonna show up to save the day. I'm gonna do what I have to do in order to, to give to them, in order to pour into them. 
because that's masculine energy, but they need to be equally strong. They need to be almost equally yoked, if that makes any sense, okay? So when I say that you're, pull it, you're attracting the opposite, don't get in your human brain and think that if you are weak, that you are like mentally weak, emotionally weak, spiritually weak, that you're gonna attract someone spiritually strong who's gonna pull you up. That's not how polar opposites work. It's all about working with the opposite energy, meaning is it dark, is it light? Is it high, um, is it high, is it low? Is it black, is it white? That type of energy. It's in those things, they're polar opposite, but they match in their strength. They match in their, their energy so that when they appear into their life, you don't have one person dragging the other up or you don't have one person pulling the other person down. Do you know what I mean? So that's something that I want to say with that is when the number 222 comes through, this is duality, this is partnerships, coming, manifesting and materializing and magnetizing together. If The last thing I'll say with this is that if you ever look at a magnet, you have um, two magnets that are opposite, but something about that opposing makes them come together, right? If they are the same energy and the same um, feminine and feminine, they will pull away from each other. You can't push them together as, as much as you want. They will constantly push away from each other. So you wanna flip it. So those are polar opposites in order for them to magnetize and to attract. When you are seeing the number 222, you are in that pull space. They haven't hit yet. They haven't come together. They are pulling together. For me, when I see the number 222, that is what is happening, that is what is occurring in my life. So I go back into that mindset, I go back into my brain and I say to myself, okay, if this is what it is that, you know, if this is what my earth angel, or if this is what my angels are showing me, if this is um, my what my guides are, you know, trying to share with me, if this is what I'm seeing synchron synchronistically within my life, then I'm going to match the vibration or match the strength of what it is that I'm trying to attract or what it is that I've already set the intention for. I'm gonna keep my thoughts high. I'm gonna keep doing whatever it is that I need to do in order to stay in a good space, you know, that I'm strong because whatever it is that I'm putting out there is exactly what it is that I'm receiving. And when it's, well, let me slow down. When you are putting that energy out there, let's say you start off really strong when you're setting your intention and then as the days pass on and you start feeling yourself kind of um, second guessing yourself or you start pulling things in too hard, you are going to slow down the process of that magnetization because your energy has changed. So of course it, it matches. So you will slow it down, you will complicate it, you will delay it. So just try really hard when you're seeing the number 222 to stay focused on yourself. Again, this is all about the negative, meaning it's all about receiving. It's all about the darker sides of yourself, the, the sides that don't have to do as much or shouldn't be doing as much. It's all about, you know, staying open um, to what is coming in. That way you and keeping that energy strong, doing what you have to do for yourself in order to make sure that you are feeling good, whether you're masculine energy or feminine energy, just or male or female that you are taking care of yourself, you're nourishing yourself, and that you're just open because something is about to happen. The opposing force, the opposite, the exact thing that is that you need that you are not is coming in to help you and to walk you along your path the rest of the way, okay? Wow, so that's honestly, that is so much. I don't, I just, I'm kind of like blown away that I was able to get all of that out in the way that I did just now. You guys know as a Virgo, I like to have notes. I like to have it all written down. Oh my gosh, and I'm just so proud of myself <laughs> for getting that done. Uh, this is my first video in the series of the number 222, so, or just synchronistic numbers in general. I've really been like, do I wanna do this? How do I do this? Because I don't, like I said, I don't wanna sway people in the wrong way. I can only share from my own journey, journey what has happened consistently. And I always journal, I always write down my experiences. That being said, when you see the number 222, what is going on in your life? What are your own experiences? Let me know it down in the comments because it's really nice to kind of compare it. I don't want you to hear me say what my experiences are and try to match that. If it doesn't resonate with you, just tell me you know, honestly, authentically from your own journey, from your own experiences, what have you noticed with the number 222, if anything, okay? All right, that being said, I am out. I am going to do the rest of the numbers because I have 
a lot of experiences with these numbers. So make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel because there are plenty more videos where this came from when it comes to astrological reports and other events going on, and especially when it comes to the angel number numbers. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.